Hello friends. Today we'll see how to use the G71 stock removal can cycle. Uh, basically, the cycles we are using for the OD turning on the lathe machine. Uh, in G71 is also called as a multiple turning uh, cycle. So whenever we are writing the program in the can cycle, it reduces the length of the program. Here I have shown one job. So we'll just write the program uh, for the job in G71. So for that, <coughs> here we can see when you are using the G71, okay, a stock ripple cycle, there is a fixed format for that. This is a standard format which you are using. So all these, I will explain you to what is the meaning of that each alphabets here. So here I have written the U. This is a format, huh? G71, U dash, R dash, G71. Means there are two blocks you can see here right now for this multiple turning cycle. U stands for the depth of the cut in the X axis. I just taken the example here. The depth of cut I consider the 1.5. For that, this is the just the enlarged view of this object. Here, how I, what we are considering the depth of cut, just I want to show you. Here, this is the depth of cut. So it means that in one stroke, I can remove the 1.5 material. Okay. So every cut when I take, whether it be a four cut or a five cut or a six cut, until we'll achieve this size. So according to that, the depth of cut I consider the 1.5 mm. So this is the, suppose in the first cut, in second cut, when you take again, it will move to the 1.5. Again, for the third cut, uh, it moves the tool 1.5. So that is called as a depth of cut in x-axis. Second part, you can observe here the R alphabet. Relief amount or a tool retraction. What it means that, suppose I, I have considered the retraction 0.5. Always try to take the very less amount of, even less than the 0.5. I, I will suggest you to take the 1.2 or 1. Point, uh, sorry, 0 0.1 or 0 0.2, right? Now, why these retractions you can see? Suppose this is the just turning we are doing. Suppose a uh, tool is going the, okay, so over that material, so amount, some amount of material get removed from that job. After that, the tool will just, suppose this is the position, again, tool will go back. So at how much distance it will go back, it will go as per this, it will move to the 0.5. Okay. So this, this part is called as a retraction. So when you take one cut, again, the tool will from this position, okay, from this position, it will move back. So how much distance it will move back? 0.5. But at every pass, huh? so how many, whatever the depth of cut you are taking, at every time the tool will move back to the 0.5 and again the second cut will take, again the tool will come to the third cut, again the tool will move a 0.5. Like that for every cut, it will move a 0.5. That is called as a retraction of the tool. Then P start block of the profile. So when you're talking about the, this P, start block of the profile. So students, uh, here, the, from this point, your programming start. Okay, so this is your start block of the profile, which is indicated by P. And I noted P is equal to 10. You can take the 10 also, you can take the 100 also. Uh, so any figure we can take. But when you're, you're writing the program, the same value has to be put. I will show you in the program how it is. Then the finish block of the profile, that is this Q, means Q indicates the finishing block or the end block of the profile also we can call it. So here, this is here the program will get end, okay, which is indicated by the Q and the value which I have given, it is a 20, okay. Again, I'm telling you can take the 200 also, it doesn't matter. Then the U. U is the finishing along, along the x-axis. Students, when you take the number of cuts, we just a small amount of material will remain on the job. We'll, we, are, we are making the program in that way. Uh, you have to take the last as a finishing cut. 
that finishing cut along the x axis is 0.1 mm means along this x axis this is the x axis and this is the z axis so along the x axis uh, i will give you know, the just a finish cut of 0.1 mm and if you take the w finishing allowance along the z axis means this is the z axis so how much is the finishing allowance again i had taken the finishing allowance as a 0.1 means 0.1 amount of material will remain on the job okay and in the last cut that that uh, uh, 0.1 amount 0.1 mm of material will get a remote that is why we are using for that the g20 i'll show you in the program that how it is then the feed rate so feed rate i had taken the 0.2 mm per revolution here now i hope that all these parameters you have understand once you have written all this means almost more than 50 percent work has been done clear uh, for that we always need the coordinates to find out. Now, students, I have written here, all these dimensions are given to you on this job. Which dimensions I have found out, you can see here. First of all, this diameter, it is mentioned 18. So I have to find out the coordinates here along the Z and the X axis. Now, when we know that when the tool is towards your right side, okay, from this coordinate system, at that time, all the coordinates will be a positive along the Z axis. And when the tool moves towards the left side, okay, left side at that time, your coordinates will be a minus. In same is the case here in the X axis. If the tool is moved away from the operator from this coordinate point, at that time, all the dimensions are positive. And when the tool is moved, towards the operator from this origin at that time your coordinates will be minus okay now i had to find out all the coordinates and a very important parameter i would like to discuss here in basically when we are writing the can cycle or when we uh, write the programs in the can cycles for the g71 at that time we always try to put the final positions in the instruction block Final position means how much is the diameter here? 18. So in when I'm writing the program, I'll write the coordinates 18, 0. 18 means along the diameter, along, the, when I'm talking X means along the diameter. When I use the Z means it is along the length of the component. Always keep in mind. So 18 is the diameter. Okay, that is 18 here. The value is here. And uh, 0 means that your tool will be somewhere else here. Okay, but initially I written the 32 and 2 means uh, the tool is just uh, very close to the component or to that material, raw material. Then next coordinate, the tool will move from this position to second position, this one. So here I'll write the coordinates. How it is, how much is the diameter here? The diameter is 20. Why it is minus 4? You can see as we, we, we are writing the program mostly in the obsolete system okay obsolete positioning system so in that case from this origin right if you see here from this origin how much is this distance it is a four and minus four means we are moving the tool uh, towards your left side and that's why it is a minus four here then i'll come to this position okay so how much is the coordinate there again the diameter here will be the 20 and Z, how much is the Z here? 12 plus 4 will be a 16. So now I think you understand why I'm writing the minus here. Then next, here it is a curve path, okay, which will be, uh, uh, we are always using the code as a G03 there. Okay, okay, but here I want to just write the coordinates here. How much is the coordinate? 24. See, this diameter is 20, radius is 4. So 20 plus 4 will be a 24. Okay, that is the first thing. Second, uh, how much is the length here? You can see 12 plus 8 means 4 plus 4, 8. So 12 plus 8 will be a 20. So here I got these coordinates. After that, again, the tool will move to the next position. This is again a linear position, 24. So you know that, the, how much is the diameter here? 24. And the length again, so 10 plus 4 plus 12 plus 4 will be ultimately the 30. Okay, so that will be the Z 
coordinates and the last coordinates means 12 will move at this position so that will be a 32 means diameter you know you can see here the diameter is 32 and length is again how i am getting the minus 38 8 plus 10 plus 4 plus 12 plus 4 so that will be ultimately the 38 so in this way i find out all the coordinates and once you find the coordinates means almost your 80 percent program is ready okay to write so there will be no mistakes while writing the programs now as first one i just given the program number that just uh this is a first part so structure of the part program is divided into three parts so first is the start of the program so here i written the g40 g80 this is you can see when i am writing the especially the programs all these parameters will be a constant okay almost constant except the feed rate what you are giving right now now g48 you know that g40 is the cutter radius compensation or i can say the cutter diameter compensation cancel then g80 uh, is the can cycle cancel means if the any can cycle program is going on it will get first cancel then the g28 u0 w0 so this is nothing but the tool home position or i can say it uh, just it means that the tool will automatically returns to its reference position so that is the along the x and uh, z axis then the g90 so it is a absolute positioning system then g95 you know that g95 is nothing but the uh, programming we are writing uh, in the sorry uh, feed rate we are giving in the mm per revolution then the g21 means we are writing the program in metric system uh, don't forget to write the semicolon or eov that is the end of block that m06 you know that it is a tool change and uh, tool numbers i have given the t01 it is a tool number and the this 01 will indicates the uh, absolute positioning of that tool then the m03 spindle start in the clockwise direction and the speed which we are s stands for the speed at a 1000 rpm m08 is the coolant on means all these inputs i have given to the machine but still the we are not started the programs here right now started the program is the format which we are using for the g71 that is a stock removal cycle so here before that i will bring the g00 for i will bring the tool at dispositions okay 32 to means just nearer to the components that is the meaning of that and g00 you know that so just move the tool at a very fast rate g 71 now i am using this format g71 u 1.5 r 0.5 means whatever you are given here the same value i am putting now okay that is the first block then there is a second block same thing i written see here when i return the year g71 p10 why i am writing the p10 you can see here i had taken the 10 here so don't forget to write that 10 if you take 100 you have to put the 100 here okay so in that ways the q20 u.1 w.1 f 0 0.2 so all these explanation i have given here after that now see i now you start your block with the n10 see p10 means you have to here also you have to write the n10 only so that is the start of the program so the tool g01 means you can see here now the tool will move here from 32 the tool will move to the 18 0 so 18 0 means x coordinate will be 18 and z will be the 0 so this i have shown here after that okay the tool will try to move to the next coordinate g01 okay so linear interpolation g01 so here see here 16 this is the coordinates what i am putting there now so x20 sorry this is on a x20 z minus 4 these coordinates i have put g01 means from this position the tool will move linearly to these coordinates okay after that what i written z minus 16 you can write the x value also but x value will be remain 20 itself you can see 20 here also it is 20 so no need of repetition only the z value goes on changing here 
So that's why I written the Z minus 16. After that, now your tool reaches to this position. You can see in the diagram, here it moves. Now it is a curved one, right? It is a counter clockwise direction, I can see that. So here I written the G03. It is a counter clockwise direction. So tool will just move in a counter clockwise direction at the coordinates. What is that coordinates? You can see I shown you how the tool will move like this. Okay. And what is the coordinates there? X24 and Z minus 20. And how much is the radius? Radius 4. So that's why I written the R4 here. These are and this R will be different. Huh? Here the R stands for the radius. Huh? And but here the R stands for the relief amount or a tool retraction. Then again Z minus 30. From this position, again the tool will move here. I will show you that how it moves. You can see here up to this position. So what is the Z value here? Your Z value will be minus, th minus 30 and X will be 24. So again, I have not written the value of X because it is just a part of repetition. Okay. After that, N20. See why I'm writing the N20? That is the end of block. Means this one, Q. It is a finished block of the profile or it is called as end block. It is always indicated by the N20. You can see here. Q20 means here N20. Your program will end here for the rough cut. Huh? Take care of that. So what is the coordinate x32 and uh, z minus 30 see here this is your final position right that is a n20 or it is called as a finish block or an end block now here just a roughing operations rough turning operation has been completed but my friend it is written that you are taking the finishing allowance means the point one amount of material will remain along the X axis as well as along the Z axis. Here we are just doing the turning right now. So you have to see or you have to concentrate on this Z. Okay, because you are not done the any, I have not shown any facing operation here. I am just showing the turning operation. Now along the Z, how much is the amount remain along with that material? Is kita material hamare was point one. So in that case, I had to use the code here the x32 means again the tool will move away from the job then see here this is very important again g70 g70 stands for the finish cycle okay so this is the finish cycle which is indicated by g70 in the we are as we know that we are learning the can cycles now so here the g70 will be a of finish cycles there and again P10, Q20, feed 0.1. Why I'm writing like this? Means already you again from P10 it will start and your tool will move like this and end at the P Q20. Like that. The small 0.1 amount, whatever the amount, see how much material it will remove? It will just remove the 0.1 amount of material. At the what feed rate? I give the feed rate at the 0.1. A very small feed rate I have given and the material will removed means a small amount of material which is remain remain there it will get removed after that g28 u0 w0 it means that again tool will move to its reference point then the m03 uh, sorry m05 so here the we know that m05 when i am writing it means that the spindle stop m09 is the coolant of and the last m30 so when i am writing the m30 you know that it is a program end and tape rewind so it means that cursor will again move to the first block here okay so your machine is ready for the next job so student in this way the multiple turning cycle or a stock removal cycle works so thank you friends